So yeah, they shut me down again. You know, this is becoming a, a normal thing for Facebook. I don't know if they want me to pay for, for my action or what, but um, he ain't kidding it. <laughs> We're going to keep it rocking, man. So if you're rejoining me, man, I'm going to give you a second to tap back in before I dive back into what I was saying uh, about waking up to the law of attraction because we're going to still get into it, man, regardless. We're going to get into it regardless to shake this thing down. Like I was saying, man, um, where was I at? I think I was speaking on, uh, yeah, you want to try to wake everybody up, man. We're right back into it. You want to, you, you start trying to wake everybody up, you know, and, and not only that, you start to understand what it means to put real nutrition in your body, starting to take care of your body. What's going on, Natalie? You start to understand what it means to take care of yourself, to put real nutrition in your body, uh, for you to make sound decisions, for you to be able to prep your body to properly function in this world. Um, that's, that's something that happens when you start to wake up. After you pass that first stage we talked about earlier where, mo you know, most people get hung up in, where they're still, oh man, did you know this, did you know that? And some people get so political with it, they start going back into uh, uh, what happened in America before their great-great-grandmother was even born and, and the whole nine. But they don't realize that everything is about the present moment. Everything is about the present moment because the present is only, the future is only what? A continuance of the present. So, therefore, people start to notice that they need to put the proper foods in their body to keep their engine properly moving, to keep it properly functioning, right? That's a part of their waking up process. They start to understand this. Uh, and the next thing you notice from people who are starting to really wake up, their Facebook screams that they are different. Facebook starts to scream, the social media sites, things that represent them start to scream that they are different. I mean, scream, scream so loud that you, they can no longer even hear the haters, so the haters have to move to a different location. Or if not, you actually move those haters to a different location because you're illuminated, you're shining so bright that those energy vampires can just not handle it. They cannot deal. They have to move. They have to move. So that, that starts to happen for you. You start to understand the importance of your freedom. How important it is for you to be free. A lot of people start to realize, man, I'm, I'm in this treadmill lifestyle. I'm going to work every day. Uh, I'm going to sleep, waking up, going to work every day, working this job, coming home. I, I barely have time to even spend with my family before I have to be right back at somebody else's job, somebody else's place of business. So you're starting to notice your, your freedom is limited. You start to notice that. And not only that, man, but you, you, get, you get extremely excited when you meet other people, you get extremely excited to meet other deep divers, right? To meet other enlightened beings. When you, when you bump into one, it's like this automatic connection, right? Uh, it's, you know, you decalcify with the pineal gland and we're like, we're, we're all connected all of a sudden. Like, you know it off, you know it by the way they carry themselves, by the way they walk into the room, um, by the post that they put up. I mean, it's, it, you see the quotes as they start to hit. You start to understand, like, okay, yeah, this person here, this is my kind of person. Angelique, I think, when I first was introduced and met Angelique, she did. She was doing laughter yoga, which you guys need to check her out. She's doing laughter yoga, and it's my first time being introduced to it. I was kind of weird, weirded out at the thought of it at first, because I'm like, so we're going to laugh when we're mad? and But it makes so much sense, right? It makes so much sense. She was pissed off that day, and she pulled over and laughed with us and had us laugh with her, and it was like a, I mean... You know, it, <laughs> she understood her frequency. She understood, understood what she needed to do to get herself to a happy place. And she did that. So, I mean, it's awesome. You start to understand on a, on a totally different level. Um, women and men, uh, opposite sex, they are not attracted to you. you. They are no longer attractive to you if they aren't on the same frequency. I mean, it doesn't, the old things you used to like, oh, that mustache, that beard, or or that, or she has a nice tight bud, and this and that, all those things stop mattering to you. They stop mattering. What starts to matter to you is, are we in sync? Are we on the same page? Yeah, looks do matter, of course. I'm not saying looks do not matter. I mean, you know, we still, we still are human. We still see something we like, and we pursue it. But the mind has to match. If the mind doesn't match, Oh man, it's a problem. It's a problem for you. Before it was never that. It was like, okay, she looks good. I like the way she talks. Or she's got a little bit of an attitude. I like that. Or she's from New York. Or, or she's got that Texas flavor or this and that. Man, all of that, does, it no longer matters. It's all about that frequency, that vibration. Do we vibe? It's all about the vibe, man. Then you all of a sudden, you start to make it your mission to raise the vibration on earth. Not just with your friends. But you want to raise the vibration on earth. You want to raise everybody. You want to do something to... That's the reason why I got involved with eradicating childhood malnutrition because it was large enough for me to touch millions, to help millions of children. Like, I, 
a couple were it wasn't just enough. Uh a school just wasn't enough. I wanted to be able to work with millions and help save the lives of millions of children. So uh it led me directly to this. You know, because I wanted to make an impact. So it led me directly to this. Being awake, lining in with lining up with the right people uh that were aligned with my core frequency. My core frequency is, is all about positivity, moving towards a positive light. Um really taking it to a whole nother level, man. And that's that's all I'm in. That's the only people that I run into. The only people I bump into are those people. So also you uh you discover your mission. At the same time, you discover your mission, which is huge. And that mission actually plays a significant role in humanity. You discover your mission. That when, when people really start to wake up, they start to discover their mission. They start to realize what they were really put here to do. So when you hear, like, I'm going back to, uh, like, my first one. This is part two if you're just not joining. So when you hear people say, I'm awake, realize that there are so many levels to being awake. Okay? So there are so many levels to being awake. Uh, you have that first where you start to realize. Like I said, first you start to realize. You start to ask questions. You know, uh, a lot of things that you thought to be true, uh, start, they start crashing down. And you start getting answers to a lot of your questions. Um, uh, waking up. All starts with destruction, like I said earlier. Starts with destruction. All the things that you once believed that were going to, that served you actually don't serve you. Um, those friends that you hang around who always get you into something, but are not never there to get you out of anything, that don't serve you, right? They have to go. You start to realize that those things have to go. They do not serve you. They do not hold purpose in your life. Um, you guys are enablers to each other. If you move on, that person can actually see you grow. See that beacon of light and actually be able to know how to get out of the situation that they're in. It's not for you to sit there and drown with that person uh, trying to save them. It's for you to move on and be the example for that person to move toward you. Move toward you. That's the way that that should work. So when you hear people saying they're waking up, start pe peeping out the levels of, of which they are, in which they are awake. Start peeking, peeping and seeing what levels that they are on because you can't just go in. I used to say, man, I'm getting tired of these people saying they're awake and all they do is post political stuff. You know, but after a while, I had to realize that they, they aren't fully developed because when I first woke up, I was, I was highly pissed. I was highly pissed. I was focusing on uh, all of the things that I thought to be true. They, they, they weren't true, but I had to look at it for what it is. I'm living now in a present moment. I can't worry and dwell about on the past. I have to do what I can right now in the present moment because, like we said, the future is only continuance of right now. So right now is the most important part of my life. Right now is the most important moment of my life. Right now I can change everything. Right now I can change everything. Yesterday, I can't change everything. If you understand what I'm saying. I can't change everything yesterday, but today I can. So you need to always remember that, man. Right now is the most important part of your life. Uh, like I said, you start wanting to wake everybody up. Uh, you, you, that's, that's a part of it, man. So you start seeing those that are coming around saying, did you know this? Did you know that? Half of the stuff that they're saying is probably not fact, but there being so much information is being thrown at them. They just want to put it out there to see if you heard it too. They want to see if they are, am I going crazy? Uh, I didn't, I never knew this, you know, and, and, it, and it seems like so much common sense to them to where they feel, they feel baffled. Like they've been totally lied to. But the thing about it is, man, you change your frequency, you can change your life. You change your frequency, you can change your life. The majority of the people that are on my friends list right now, I actually didn't, I didn't know three months ago. I didn't know any of them three months ago. And um, I mean, you would swear that we're all best friends now because it's the frequency. We've all been traveling the same and reaching out to grab at one another. And now we're here and we're just adding more and more people, more and more people to this frequency. What's going on, Candace? I'm glad you're on here, sweetheart. That's my little sister. Yeah. Law of attraction, baby. I'm actually extend a little bit just because you came on. <laughs> Law of attraction, man. Everything that that um that, that you possibly have wanted, it it, it it it's a it's levels to it on how you can receive that. You have to actually your core frequency, you have to actually want to be better. You have to actually want to see the world change. There has to be something that you live. It can't be something that you um that you just think about every now and then, but you go, you go, you go and you go to the club on the weekends and you can barely even think straight on Sunday on your, on your rest day. And it, it, it takes you living uncomfortable for a while so that you can live like no one else can for the rest of your life. You understand what I'm saying? It takes you being uncomfortable for a while so that you can live like no one else can for the rest of your life. It takes that. 
I, I, I've come to uh, figure that being uncomfortable is a comfortable thing for me. Because whenever I'm uncomfortable, I know that I'm growing. So I start looking for signs of, of, of succeed. I don't like the word success. So if you ever hear me say succeed, that's what I'm getting at. I start looking for signs of succeed, growth. And the reason why I say succeed is because success to me gives off the, gives off the idea that I'm done. I'm not done. You heard me say earlier, man, you, you, you get to this point to where you want to raise the vibration on the whole planet. Not only do you see the benefit in your life, but you see the benefit for all mankind. And that's where I am in my life right now. That's the step of, of, of awakeness I am right now. I'm on the level to where I want to raise the vibration on the whole planet. So therefore, I'm going to do whatever it takes for me to do it. If it means getting on this live every night and speaking to those that want to hear it, then I'm doing it. If it means reaching out and eradicating childhood malnutrition by helping you get healthy, then that's what I'm doing. So, you know, I have to be tied in. I can't go off of somebody else's idea of what they think I should be doing in my life. You know, I have a lot of people that, that get at me and say, man, when are you going to do music again? When are you going to do music again? I am doing music. I'm, giving, I'm putting music to your ears every night on these lives. It's all about how you're listening. It's all about what frequency you tune in on. There are people that are sitting back humming and just really vibing and moving to this right now because you know why? I'm touching that frequency and they know exactly where I'm going with my message. They know exactly where I'm going with my message. So they ride the wave. And that's just the way it works, man. It's just the way it works. Somebody that's not on your frequency, you can't, you can't push and push and push and try to make them understand or make them believe what it is that you have going on in your life. You have to be that beacon and allow them to see you. You have to be that lighthouse and allow them to see you and let them just drift to shore to, be exactly, to, to get exactly to where you are. I'm not going to hold you guys too much. They split my lives up. But hey, we got both of them, man. You got two days of part one, part twos out of me, man. Um, I'm going to have to start charging Facebook. <laughs> Real talk because I can't charge y'all man It's free If it's for me it's free baby We working it Hey but uh For you guys man That want to check in And learn some about gut health Man make sure you check in with me tomorrow I can get you a link over So you can learn how to heal your gut at that If you're wondering How to get past these certain stages In your awake modes man Probably has a lot to do With the nutrition that you're putting in your body Or lack of nutrition that is So get with me man And we'll get that squared away too Remember whole food nutrition is the way Stay happy healthy and humble Peace